Hello, welcome to another informative episode on White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. I finally have a path cleared up to my garage door. So I'm going to be checking on my worms now. I hope my furnace is still running. I'm just gonna open the door and go in and see what's happening. I'm not sure what to expect in there, but I don't think it should be too bad. It's only been three days since we've had the snowstorm. So as long as my furnace in there is running, three days should not be enough to cause my worms to die off. Uh, they should have enough moisture still to keep going. So let's go and see what's happening in there. Ah, oh, it's nice and toasty in here, so my worm should be fine. The furnace is running good. Uh, let's see. Let's start off with these small trays in sirs they are the most likely to dry out I did not give these any water last week because they were still moist uh, this is moist this is good it's moist it's very moist in fact I'm not even going to give it any water today that's how moist it is so I'm happy and so are my worms I can actually harvest this bin. Okay, so that's a good sign. Now these two bins, these are the ones I'm most concerned about because of the way they are designed. They could, they can dry out very easily. I don't like being out in the cold. I'm always sleeping once I go out in the cold. Yep, this bin is, look at that, dry. I see the worms. Or did I not? thought I saw one. This bin is dry. Oh yes, I see a few of them down there. They're a bit lethargic though. So I'm going to give these guys some water. Let's see. Okay. a bit of a challenge opening this thing with just one hand I like to have a few buckets of water in here at all times and I have them in here just for this reason if it snows and I have to be carrying the warm water from in the house then that can be a bit of a challenge I'm over water in this one the water will drain out of course I just let the water run down for these bins the rest of my bins I don't have to over water but these ones you can't really take chances with them you have to make sure that they have a good amount of water going through them. Okay. Let's 
Yeah. I'm gonna give this. Oh my goodness, look at this carrot. This carrot has been in here for I would say maybe six months. Because <laughs> that was this bin was created in the spring when I was dismantling my large worm bin to set up these smaller ones and that's from when I have the carrot in there but that is how it is with root vegetables they don't break down very easily because they're already in soil which is what they need to grow so if you are feeding your worms root vegetable it is a good idea to either put it in the fridge to in the freezer freeze it and then let it thaw so it will break down easily otherwise you can have it there for a very long time and the worms also will not eat it if they have other things to eat because it doesn't have a lot of bacteria on it because it is not breaking down and as you may know it is the bacteria that the worms feed on and not really the food scraps oh, oh man all that shoveling my heart is taking a long time to settle down and so is my breathing but that's okay I'm just glad to see that the worst of my bin still isn't doing too badly. I'm not someone who sweats easily, but man. After all that shoveling, I'm sweating. And I think I have to go through all these worm bins. Look at that. This is dry. Just a little bit of dampness. Barely damp. I guess I got to them in time. Thanks to Jehovah. This is all finished. Compost. Hey guys, where are you? I'm not seeing any of you in here. Wormies, where are you? I'm not seeing any. I wonder if they crawled out. Come on, man. It's only two days. Well, three. Ah, there. This one is looking quite feisty, too. <laughs> That's good. Maybe they're hiding in the paper layer that I have underneath. Is at least that portion as you can see it is somewhat moist so maybe they're hiding in them okay All of this that you're looking at is finished compost that I fed my worms and I just put a few pieces of paper in here so this is not castings it's just finished compost this this and a few worms that I'm seeing in here this oh I've got piece of hardware cloth in here they should be able to keep them for maybe three to four months. I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did with the worm shelving on the opposite side, the one that I'm supposed to be maintaining tomorrow that side i gave them a little bit more moisture than they actually need 
because this is Saskatchewan things dry out very quickly and I don't really have the time to tend to them more than twice per week or I won't be able to get anything else done so I just give them just a little bit not enough to make their bin saggy but just enough to make sure that barring unforeseen occurrences they will be fine why is it that I don't see a cover for this bin I guess I'm gonna have to cut a cover for this one I didn't realize it didn't have any anyway let's put back this one there's a hole in this mesh as well those little guys I'm gonna be making some poison for them later on okay this bin is not as moist as it should be but it has enough moisture where the worms would not die they would just survive but they wouldn't die from lack of moisture I'm just gonna aerate it a bit I'm glad I got to this today and not tomorrow because the other shelving to maintain tomorrow that alone is three and a half hours if I'm not feeding them if I'm just moistening them then it's three and a half hours okay the worms in here are looking fine so that's good I think the worms in this bin are eating faster than the previous bin that I just looked after because I can see a combination of finished castings and finished compost so I think these guys are working a bit faster maybe I have more worms in here than the other one Because I don't feed my worms food scraps, they require a lot more, require me having more moisture than bins that are fed food scraps because finished compost does not have its own moisture, unlike food scraps. This one seems as if it is fairly moist because it has two layers of covering. So I'm definitely going to have to use two layers just to be on the safe side if for whatever reason we should get a worse storm than we did and I cannot come out here for two weeks. I need to know that I can take, I can relax because the worms have enough moisture. The biggest worry I have with these worms really is if we get a storm bad enough to cause power outage or my furnace to stop working because without a doubt they would die and it would not take long either. They would die off within a day or two. 
because the drastic change that we have in temperature here between day and night can be over 40 degrees change so I know that if I ever lose power my worms will be out which is why I make sure that at all times oh I didn't wet this bin and I'm covering it up <laughs> I'm talking too much yes this is why I make sure that at all times I have a pound of worm in my house. If something should go wrong, at least they would be warmer for longer. thing is that the eggs would survive but that would be a major loss anyway a loss that would be very difficult to recover from but not impossible This bin is drying out. Look at that. All crispy. It's all crispy. Oh, my poor worms. It's barely moist under the bottom. But at least it's moist enough that the worms are still alive. They're a bit lethargic. So I'm just aerating and then I'll give them some water. This one is very wet. So these ones that have the double layer, they're doing pretty well. This one is pretty moist. Um, there, there are no dry spots. So I guess that is going to be a project for next week. I don't really have the energy to do that now. Plus I'm behind because of all this snow and working on my winery. So. A lot of the things that I was supposed to get done throughout the course of this month so far I'm behind on but yes I am pleased with this bin so I'm gonna make sure that I get two layers of covering on this thing Ok, 
okay i've gone through the six of these bins that i have on this side now i'm going to move on to the other type of bins Let's see how they are doing 